family this is your girl sk i am sekela home of motivation inspiration and life in general welcome to my um video today we are still on the week of uplifting uh motivation uh enlightening um showing some tips and hacks that helps um people who are trying to become chartered accountants i think this is maybe second last video that i have or the last video um that i have because i've been in this in this in this thing and for two weeks i've been saying we are in this for a week but now it's it's, it's been two weeks but today we are talking about repeat and pass c a certificate of theory and accounting or become accounting honors i know um they it is like really really difficult um first things first um failure is not a shame failure is painful in private failure is humiliating in public um but failure is completely normal it has nothing to do with our intellect it is just a process we all fail at some point in time and it has nothing to do with our intellect with our capabilities with ourselves personally uh, for example i'm not a failure i might have failed but segela is not a failure so you guys need to tell yourselves that you might have failed but it's not who you are it's just the process that you need to have done a little bit more work so that you are in a position to pass actually so that's it first thing because people they start to personalize yo i'm gonna fail again they start to fearing failure and they start to getting traumatized and panic that i'm gonna fail again i i did everything and i did all uh things that i could do i i did everything that i was supposed to do i don't know now what's left or what is it that i still need to do these things looks like it's extremely difficult and i've sacrificed everything i've left my friends i didn't what 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 so guys like calm down right take a deep breath just take two minutes to process it in your mind it has nothing to do with you as a person it's just a process that we all have to go through and we cannot all pass right so we just want to make sure that now this time this year in 2021 we are going to do all we can right we are going to stick to the process we are going to stick to our routine we are going to work diligently and consistently that we are going to make it if we do those things we consistently follow up and solve a problem we we ask questions we do all our tasks like it's for the first time we do all assignments we download psyche past papers itc past papers we do them in our spare time we revise questions more than doing theory it's important as a repeater i think i've said a lot already but i still haven't gotten to my plan of how i am planning to say or to present this to you guys so the first thing that you need to do you guys um obviously repeating you know what works you know what doesn't and i am sure that everyone is telling you to mark yourself request your script mark yourself uh find out what went wrong but what no one tells you about that process it's it's 50 percent on technical work and it doesn't cover 
your mental wellness, your anxiety, your stress, your fear of failure. When you were to write, when you went to write that exam, what was happening on your mind? Were you mentally prepared for the exam? Right. So did you receive a difficult question and you, it derailed you and you couldn't maybe think, you couldn't remember the things that you were supposed to remember during an exam. So I need you to go back and do um, remarking. I think I have another video of saying how to mark yourself because when you mark yourself, yes, you look for the technical work. Also, you need to consider the mental wellness side of it. Did you panic when you received such question? Did you run out of time? So that this year you are able to find a solution for your mental problems either you can solve them yourselves or you can see someone i know most universities in fact all universities they have um internal um psychologists and social workers and clinics so you guys can call that number that they say you should call if you are struggling with anything so that they can assist you a sep i do have another video of how to deal with anxiety maybe you can just subscribe and then try and check that video maybe it's it's, it's what happened because guys if you are not in the right state of mind it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have the fact that you are too anxious you're gonna miss details right you won't be able to pay attention to detail and you will fall short so that will actually cause you to fail because your mind keeps forgetting things your mind is not really in a space where it's um able and it's comfortable to give you good results so you really 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 need to be in the good state of mind you need to be calm when you go and write these exams whether you know the question or you don't that's another debate but the fact that you just get shocked and you completely lose it it's a huge problem for you because if that's what happened it could be the reason for your failure and not because you don't know the stuff it's because your mind couldn't recall what you know because you were derailed by a difficult question right so when you mark yourself ask yourself those questions as to say was i in a right mental state did this question uh throw me off was this not a biggest curve ball of all so that you are able to deal with that in private before it happens again because guys tough times don't last but tough people do but tough exams last for cta as paid you always have a tough test tough test tough everything is tough so you guys need to toughen up to be tougher than tough exams right that's what you are what you guys need to do after marking yourself guys please write short summary or notes of your mistakes so that your mind will capture that and will actually learn never to make the mistake again, right? If it has to do with exam technique, note it down, like how to answer this type of required. Write it down on the note and put it on your wall so that you can look at it all time all the time and you will actually remember it and read the examiner's comments guys what people don't do they don't read examiner's comments because examiner's comments it has mistakes of what everyone has done like common mistakes that students did so you don't want to have that mistake so if you want to avoid mistakes that are made by others um you need to note and you need to be aware of what um others are doing wrong so that you don't uh fall into that trap so yes um you need to have a routine you all you already know that you need to have a routine you need to follow your routine you need to stick to your routine you need to be consistent with uh yourself you need to be honest 
with yourself when you're doing your tutorials when you're doing your your assignments and not to cheat um yourself because uh you're looking for the test book while you were supposed to do an assignment for submission those things guys they don't work you are only cheating yourself because you will not know what you don't know so it, it, the purpose of an assignment and a question and and, and 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 an exercise is for you to be able to identify and fix what you went wrong so you rather have 20 percent and fail now and solve your problems rather than have 80 percent pass now and fail the final exam so be loyal to yourself be loyal to your progress reflect on last year's performance not just the final exam did you stick to the process through the entire year from march if you started in march up until september or from february up until um december did you study consistently throughout the entire year right be honest enough with yourself because if you are not honest guys you will do the same mistake again you will not do anything differently right were you studying maybe mostly from home and you were disturbed by things or by people so if that was the case you were not really studying effectively at home because of lockdown and other things and now the lockdown rules most they are now a bit better so you can consider going to study at an office if you are doing city a part-time and you have a job and you have an office so you can go and study at the office or you can go to uh maybe after work um go to a coffee shop or a local library i know most of the library they close at 9 p.m so maybe you knock off at 5 and go and study at the library and at 9 you just go straight to bed that helps a lot rather than going back home it's after work you feel exhausted you don't feel like doing anything it's gonna be very very easy to just sit on the couch watch something and you fall asleep and before you know it it's the following day right so you just need at least those hacks to know okay if i'm struggling to study in my apartment if i'm struggling to study at home i need to change an environment or i need to study with someone so that you know okay you are accountable by if no 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 you are taking too much breaks or you are browsing through social media too much or you are not doing what you are supposed to do so it's helpful to have an accountability partner study with someone who is serious as you are who really um is dedicated you guys have same same qualities and they don't waste your time by um making um to chats all day long so you really really need to be that person i remember when i was repeating my cta i used to study at um in a in a in a study center so i was with my friend the masa so he knows every time he would laugh at me because at the study center most there are those people who are doing easier courses and they will be chit chatting going around making noise laughing uh sharing earphones to listen to things and really really disturbing other people who need complete silence right so when i would go to them and then say that you are making a noise you can just go outside if you are taking a break you don't have to disturb the rest of us because we really you are wasting our time because now we have to be do we, we watch you and we're getting entertained and that, that is just not acceptable you really can't be making noise in front of people and i saw that maybe and it's not working so now i would just go to them and say jongan stop it be like you are we are all adults here why are we making noise why are you being so unnecessary i mean like seriously stop it 
So my friend now, every time she, he'll want to go and study with me because at the study center, when I'm there, there's order because when I just look at people and like, before I even talk, they just keep quiet now. I felt like <laughs> I'm the biggest bully, but it was helping guys. It was helping like people who are responsible. They just can't be wasting everyone else's time. They can just go outside and laugh at their jokes, do their up and down, but not at the study center. We didn't even need a security there because I was like, hey, this is a study center. So John, come here and do things. It's a study center. It's supposed to be studying. Nothing else. You're not supposed to come here and try to be a comedian. That's that's not where we do comedies. So please. So they knew me. So stand for yourself. Stand for your grounds. If uh, the environment then is not working, you can change to a library. Guys, they have a con. They have water fountain. It's just a very calm and a nice environment to be in. And once you step in that different environment, your mind is already prepared to start working. Your mind is prepared to start learning something. So change the environment, guys. It's helpful a lot. You can also consistently study in that different environment because now when you get home, like your mind will know that, oh, I'm going to relax so change the environment and use home as a place of comfort place of relaxation so the minute you get home you just lay back and you relax and you do all the things that you enjoy right so yes um another thing that um i want to say to you guys is oh, another thing that i want to say guys is like guys like really take it seriously this time not that you didn't take it seriously but give an extra effort give it your all focus a little bit more this time and do it like you are doing it for the first time do all your tutorials do all your assignments attend everything that you are supposed to attend and be honest with yourself guys reflect every sunday to say how was i working and how is your studying process going this week were you sticking to your schedule did you do your tasks did you mark yourself what did you learn did you make some notes so that um it's a little bit better and so that you pass isn't it that the goal guys stick to the process take it seriously stay positive be focused do all the questions even if you have seen it before there is always an opportunity to learn the only time you will tell me you won't do the question you have done last year is when you get 100% and you are actually the one who is preparing and who is correcting the memo because sometimes the memo can be wrong and it needs to be corrected right so the only time you are telling me you will not do something in activity that you've done in the prior year is if you can do it and prove it to me that you got 100 percent you can write down in the comment below if you do not agree with me when i say that um do it like you're doing for the first time do the things even if you have done them before because there's an opportunity to learn sometimes you realize something that you didn't think of in the past maybe because of the frustrations and the stresses of of this world and things that we go through guys because we are going through a lot and cta is not giving us a break so just do everything in your powers everything that you can have some maybe sacrifices that you will know you will pay back later 
because guys you really really need to give your all and the truth is you have not failed in 2021 so be careful of that energy or maybe fear of failure to say um, the past may repeat itself or because you failed in the past now you fear that you are going to fail again so try to remove that because you have already decided to repeat right it's your decisions no one put a gun on your head to say you repeat no one did that it was your decision and your decision alone right so be loyal to your decision be dedicated to your dreams like do it like you are doing it for the first time just do whatever it takes guys do whatever you can ask questions ask the people you are studying with how are they approaching this and go do the notes um write your notes compare your memo make sense of the memo because some people they just look at the memo and say oh i didn't get this and they don't even they don't even spare a minute to try to understand the solution itself because if you do not understand the solution then you have a big problem because you don't understand what you are supposed to do and you don't understand the problem and you don't understand the solution so that is actually a huge problem so you really really need to to, to to do whatever it is do past papers do questions 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 you don't have to do theory you know everything you have done it in the prior year you have um learned everything your problem is the exam your problem is the exam and the things that you do on the exam itself when you are faced with the difficult question. So to solve your problem is by doing more of the questions. So you don't have to go to theory. The only time you do theory is when you are attending classes, pre-reading, um, engaging in class and post-reading. So that's the only time you do your theory. Any at the other time, then it's your chance to do your questions right so practice your questions practice 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 all the damn time right and you actually need to have a skill to move on some of you what causes you to fail you are really really hard workers you are are studying all the time but you still fail right why do you why is that happening it's because guys you don't move on when the time lapses on the exam because if you notice ne, the difficult questions they will be the first one like they will be the first ones in the paper so that you guys can focus all your time on them by that and then the easy questions are always at the end and then you guys will be trapped into spending time trying to figure out a solution of a highly complicated um question and you overspend your time there and you have no time left for your easy parts which can make you pass so you need to have an ability to move on even if you know you have studied it in and out and you know how to solve it but now it's in a different scenario you still believe that you can solve it yes you can believe that you can solve it and try to actually solve it but if the time lapses move on just move on you don't have to it's a toxic question it's it's a very toxic question and it's trying to deny you to be great on the easier parts so that you can spend all the time on it and you end up failing so toxic questions time lapses you move on and and, and solve other parts and find easier questions that are going to make you great and flourish please guys please hard workers don't stress hard workers know they stress a lot you know i was having a conversation last week with one of my trainees so they were saying to me like i know a girl who was working hard they were overworking themselves thinking that if they do this and they cover everything they are going to pass and they still failed and i say it's mental wellness 
and the inability to move on from the difficult question because they have studied it so hard and they finally understood the basic principles and um, some complicated principles of it now they don't want to move on from it because they believe that they can solve that problem so don't fall into that trap please just move on the exam or the test has nothing to do with you it is a process and some of the things are there to derail you don't fall into that trap just move on and stick to your basic principles then guys you are definitely going to pass definitely keep calm you take care of your mental um mental wellness and your physical um wellness work consistently be dedicated um have positive energy have positive attitude that you might have failed in the past but you are not going to fail now you still have a chance to pass you might have failed you have not failed this year you have a chance to make things uh to have a turnaround to change um things because like nothing will change if you do things the same so you need to change your exam technique you need to change the way you work you need to change the way you study to a more suitable and a more thing um plan that is actually working for you and you, if you are doing cta part-time I, you need to be non-negotiable with your personal time. I know some managers, they will ask you to work after hours. Don't do that. You have a right of saying no. Use it. Stand for your dreams. Stand for yourself, please. The only time you are working overtime is if it's paid you are not a volunteer you have a lot of things to deal with you have cta those people they've already qualified and guys no man no something is wrong really people who are working like doing cta part-time at unisa and they are working this crazy overtime and sleeping at 12 a.m like when are they getting time to 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 to, to actually um learn and they don't the problem is they don't talk to their managers or to whatever to their supervisors to say okay the only overtime i can i can work is limited to one hour or two hours per day they don't do that right so guys stand for yourself stand for your dreams to be loyal to yourself to your dream prioritize your studies because there will be new trainees who are coming with cta and you it, it's um trust me it's not nice guys it's really it's really really not nice so you better stick to your plan right like no one should tell you when you have planned to do an exercise to tell you hey please work 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 for what for free are you a volunteer now why are you working for free the only time i can accept to say okay you are studying and in that time you are working is if the overtime is going to be paid because even if you fail at least you have money to drown yourself in to drown your 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 what to drown your sorrows in, in alcohol so now if you are volunteering you are a volunteer and you work unpaid over time was i tired of mad you won't even have money to relax you will be more stressed because you are broke you are failing nothing is working seriously just take your studies seriously prioritize them at least after work right and work even though you go to work every day after work you are studying before you can start your day you can have an exercise maybe from 5 a.m up until uh seven o'clock in the morning maybe you do some exercise and you take a quick 10 minute or 30 minutes shower and then you get ready voila you are at work so you just need to find ways to have um your consistency now within your schedules right so um please and guys do not play games i know this is so brave of me to say but guys like 
don't play games what do i mean by don't play games now i my mentee right she passed <laughs> my mentee ne, she was telling me okay the test one i passed tax with 60 percent and failed auditing by um, i'm on 40 percent. so now on dp test two i'm gonna focus on auditing no guys do not do that treat all modules equally right because you don't know how will an assessment be like because now you're going to neglect tax and it's gonna be unfortunately harder in this test so what will that do to your mental wellness right because you know you created text naturally it comes naturally to you you love studying text you you like you get happy when you are studying text and you are asking yourself what how to solve this how to do that how to do this how to do this and how is this um done and now when you get a difficult question that you're not ready for and you don't even know you didn't even prepare enough what will that do to your mental wellness you are going it's gonna shock your mind and it's gonna block the cognitive thinking and problem solving skill because you won't even be calm to say let me go back to the basic principles you're going to panic because you didn't study it you think that you have already failed it and you have not even attempted the auditing that you um you were preparing for the whole um month right so now when you go to the auditing paper obviously it's what you've been preparing for and surprisingly it gets harder as well and you can't even answer it so it's gonna cause you to have more problems so if you just learn all modules equally right solve your problems in across all your modules take them seriously equally guys give them equal attention so that when you get into a dp test at least you have something hard you are ready for you can stick to the basic principle move on go to another question basic principles state what you know whatever it is that you need to to to, to put into an answer correct answers you move on and in that way at least you'll be able to get 50 percent right instead of you having 70 percent tax 30 percent auditing 70 percent finance 20 percent no 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 you rather have 48 for all of them rather than have significantly high and low that is actually causing people to fail because it's difficult to catch up and you want by the time it's exams you forgot and you haven't even gone back to the things that you failed most uh -uh, guys let's not play games let's give all our modules equal attention please and we start with questions before we go to theory because questions identify what we do not i understand right so if you go straight to do theory we won't know what we don't know but if you start from questions you trust me you'll know what is it that you don't know so let's be efficient we do not have time let's be effective we do not have time let's be diligent let's work hard let's work smart let's do this cta is falling in 2021 i wish you all the best please subscribe and watch other videos about anxiety time management falling asleep fast how to take effective breaks and all the things that you guys need support with Thank you. I wish you all the best. I love you. Thank you for your love and support. Bye.